Well, uh, I noticed uh, uh, it's interesting that uh, no one, uh, no one from the uh, the, the uh, homosexual side of the spectrum has spoke up like you. Unless you know, you could be bi. I don't know. It's fine with me. It doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm a heterosexual, but actually, I haven't had sex in a while. It's not a big deal to me. But it, no matter. Uh, I'm I'm a whole. I've been whole all my life. Uh, I've been a whole man. Never thought about circumcision. Uh, never thought it was a big deal so, uh, until I noticed as a young adult that uh, my brothers are all circumcised, four of them, and I'm not. And it was a matter of uh, uh, economics then. But I'm glad that I was stuck in the the economic black hole actually because. <laughs> Because I'm old now, you know, and I, I like it this way, actually. It works real fine. You know that. You've noticed uh, uh, one thing. You you were unsure about how to give, uh, you know, oral to uh, an intact male. Well, let me tell you, as soon as they get uh, an erection, that uh, foreskin acts like a like a sheath. You know, the penis grows, and then it kind of, foreskin just kind of folds down. It kind of, kind of, just emerges out of the foreskin and it's really not a big deal but it'll also go back over so it acts like a, a lubricating sheath kind of you know so given the, really it's really no different you know if you want to give someone oral sex it's really no different than uh, if they were uh, uh, circumcised okay so circumcised men you might have noticed uh, you have to be careful because it's tight the foreskin's been cut off so the penis is tight it's not there's no room for it to grow really that's where a lot of erectile dysfunction comes from is uh, circumcised men you'll notice if you if, if you ask around all these guys that are that are if they're bitching about erectile dysfunction ask them if they're circumcised you'll find that 99 percent of them are yeah go figure and if they get uh, well uh, reattachment surgery maybe you haven't heard of this but there are reattachment surgeries you can get that operate just as the prey is used to there's skin they can utilize that to will uh, create the type of environment that uh, you know might might grow new cells there's also uh, after the the uh, reattachment there's a there's a, a little stem cell treatment you can use to uh, Put some nerves up in there to make it act like a real prey booze. Oh yeah. So glad that you uh, spoke up. I was uh, glad to see the video because I speak out against circumcision. I know what it is. And uh, by the way, uh, nowadays in the past few years, the uh, 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 American uh, Pediatrics Association have uh, have gotten together and called circumcision uh, unnecessary and. Uh, uh, not something they don't recommend at all and it's not necessary for good health it does nothing to help steps uh, uh, to, to help uh, uh, you know uh, not stimulate but <laughs> suppress AIDS or HIV it does nothing to help with symptoms it, uh, no it does affect circumcised men have a bare glance and with that their urethra is open to everything. Dust, dirt, pieces of material. Yeah. Okay. But with the prey poos, which is what the foreskin is, it's covered so you don't have that problem. So I never did understand where they got the idea that uh, foreskin causes infections and shit. Doesn't even make sense. It's like saying your armpits will cover uh, will cause infection. It is because they're like this. Because it's a, yeah, it is. Same type of uh, material. Just like the clitoris. Same material. It's a prey piece also. Anyway, let this video through. There's other people that need to know these things. And the American Medical Association also, Association also no longer recommends a circumcision whatsoever as a health uh, tool or anything else. There may be some surgical reasons, there may be clinical reasons. To have to uh, circumcise the prey poos, but there aren't any uh, ordinary health benefits to it. 
okay? Thanks for making your video. Uh, uh, I I hope you let this one go through and let other people hear this. And uh, I'm on your side. Yeah, uh, you should look into a reattachment uh, surgery though. It's it'll be real helpful. It really will. And other guys, you know, that are like that. They're having the same kind of feelings. Y'all yeah, think about that. Look it up. Google it or whatever if you want. Check it out. We'll see you later. Me? Who am I? I mean, no, no. I'm just an Earthling. That's what they call me. Okay. Good night on this, uh, what is it, Friday? Yeah, it's Friday night.